What's going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another Real Life episode. Today I'll basically be going over what exactly is wrong with all these games today. And why they all are just... Why I basically in period stopped playing like video games. I, I like, I record a games and stuff on my phone, but I don't play like CSGO or anything anymore because of these reasons. So first off is the price of the game. Games now... When I was a kid, games used to be $20. I used to have a GameCube $20, you know. That's nothing back then. It was so cheap. And it just... <laughs> Oh my god, my DS games would be like ten dollars, no twenty dollars, something like that. Ten, twenty dollars. I've never heard of a game over twenty dollars for a DS game. And then it was like two thousand ten or something. I went to GameStop, had my not my DS, my Game Boy, and literally those cartridges sold for one to two dollars a piece. And I was just amazed. On how those drop so fast. Now Xbox 360 games are getting kind of cheap. They're like thirty to twenty dollars. But now, now, no, 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 no. Games cost up to a hundred dollars. And let me repeat that again: up to a hundred dollars. That is insane. And it's not just the, the market. Just the bare minimum of the game is sixty dollars. What you're paying for right now, literally, you're paying sixty dollars just, just for the game, for the game itself. Then, 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 for the DLCs. Ooh, say so you want to have, um, well, I don't know. So you have all, all these games right here, all, literally all these Xbox games. I have hundreds of them right here. Each of those games has at least, like, I'd say about $20 worth of DLCs. Actually, GTA is all free. But then there's shard cards, so that's going to segue into this next conversation. I'm going to use that more often, segueing. So next we have microtransactions. I have fallen for microtransactions. I assure a lot of you have, because they make games so tedious and boring nowadays just to get in-game currency that you can buy it yourself! That you can buy it yourself, and it makes no sense whatsoever, honestly. It would happen to the old way games used to be, like, just, I don't know. Companies just want money at this point, and it just sucks, honestly. But then, then... Then this is gonna bring us into Clash Clans and why I made that video because I re-download Clash Clans and then I realize like people who have like say Town Hall 10 honestly are spending quite a bit of money at that point because who wants to wait over a I'd say about a week on just one upgrade because you can spend easily over a year in upgrades honestly like who has the time for that and then clearly it's just companies want to make money at this point and that's what everything is coming to so. That's basically where the future... I honestly have no clue where the future of gaming is going. Who knows? Like, I expected just a, it's a, a game on Xbox One, say Forza, to be like $20, $30 by now. No, they're... Every game's still $60. It makes no sense when you just have... A, the Xbox One X and Xbox One games, I assume right now they're all running on like... You can put this in an Xbox One X game, but... It makes no sense whatsoever to be able to not drop down the price on just Xbox One games itself. Like, it just it doesn't make sense anymore, honestly. And that's why I've stopped playing video games. I'm just... I'm not, I'm not poor or anything. It's just ridiculous. And then, at least on the bright side, there are, like, Steam sales and stuff. But it still just makes absolutely no sense why they should be doing this. So, um... This video is obviously not going to go anywhere, and this was just a rant for myself, just to explain what happened, and why video games are just, what the future of it's going to be at this point. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and share it to all your friends about this, and hopefully you guys have woken up by this. Ooh, woken up.